Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Welcome to Caring Medical Florida in Fort Myers. The next case I want to illustrate is reasons not to get cervical fusion. This person, middle-aged person, totally active, no pain, had a really full life, then they were involved in a car accident in 2017. They ended up not responding to conservative care. They didn't get prolotherapy at that time. Then they saw a surgeon. Surgeon said you needed a multi-level fusion, which you see right here. The, what this case illustrates is how quickly, how quickly bone spurs form and how quickly joint instability after the fusion can set up. So what we see here is in the neutral position, the bony alignment is already off. Like you can see the back of the cervical vertebrae here and there's a big space here. So this is C1, C2, C3, C4. So they had a C5 to C7 fusion. So if you line up the back of the two vertebrae here, there's a space right there. So even, even at rest, there's an offset. So in other words, to, not not the adjacent level, but the but the one after that has already become unstable. And you get you'll see right here. There's a massive bone spur here that the body has formed since this uh, joint fusion. So again, this is only two years later, and the bone spur is humongous. So it means that, uh, and it may be because of cell phones that these bone spurs are forming so quickly after cervical fusions because people have the face down lifestyle you know they're looking down all the time at their cell phone well when you have a fusion the the this the levels of the fusion can't move so all the forces go above the fusion so let's see what happens to this segment when the person just uh goes you know tries to bend okay stop Okay, what you see here is this humongous, there's a humongous bone spur right here, a humongous bone spur right here. So the body's trying to stabilize uh, this segment, which is the C4-5 segment. But what you see here is severe, severe instability at C3, C4, C4, C5. So in other words, instability is when the person moves, the vertebrae separate. So this person has anterolysis meaning that the C3 vertebrae is antero in front of the C4 vertebrae. So the line back here where the vertebrae meet is called George's line. There's a break in George's line. So this is at the back of C4, and I'm gonna to go to the back of C3, and you see this big space right here. That's the instability at that segment. If we go to the back of the C5, and I'll go to the back of C4, see that space right there when that space is greater than three millimeters we consider that severe instability now c2 c3 we know that you know it's fine so right now c2 c3 is holding this particular patient has significant instability at c1 c2 they have instability at c3 c4 they have instability at C4, C5, the body's overgrowing this massive bone spur to uh, eliminate, to try to stabilize the segment. So the only thing from complete destruction of this person's neck is the ligaments are holding at C2, C3. But is it gonna be long if all the segments around it are uh, going that this segment's gonna go? And already this person has terrible headaches terrible clicking, grinding, crunching. The one symptom that I might not be able to get better on the person is the difficulty swallowing because they got this humongous bone spur here. You know, they have this humongous bone spur. You gotta realize your esophagus is right here, right? It could be that some of that symptoms of the swallowing, like it getting stuck, is actually from this bone spur. So the point is, if you have an unstable spine, and something's not broken, like there's a bone not broken. And it seems like, and you got clicking, grinding, crunching in your neck, please get a digital motion x-ray and get an evaluation by a prolotherapist before you get
uh, cervical fusion, or for that matter, even lumbar fusion. With our current computer use, our continuously looking down at cell phones, you can't have the biomechanics like this patient be that several segments don't move because all that's gonna happen is, this is within two years. Like, she's basically disabled. So it's gonna happen very, very quickly with our modern lifestyle being face down. So please get prolotherapy for cervical instability and lumbar instability. It, it's just a much better long-term solution for spinal instability.